in the first part of this video you're going to see us removing the majority of the metal from the upper receiver. This allows for the bolt to fit into the grooves that we've cut in the lathe and it also allows for the opening that we have to have to allow the upper receiver to slide over the front barrel support we've now completed this first series of cuts that we're doing on the upper receiver you can see in this video where we took the first cut here to remove the majority of the metal from the, the upper receiver. In the second cut, the cut that we're making here is actually the portion of the receiver that sets over the front barrel extension when you go to put it into the receiver. It widens out that portion of the receiver just a slight amount. We're now preparing to cut the slot out for the guide rail. This guide rail will allow us, or this cut will allow us to put the guide rail in that aligns the upper and lower receiver as the gun is operating. This cut cuts away for the guide rail between the upper and lower receiver. What you're seeing now is the hole being drilled for the front sight. On the bottom of the receiver it's a larger hole and the front sight will come in on top. This larger hole allows us to rivet the front sight in place on the uh, receiver. For, for this we'd have no access to the... Now we're drilling the hole for the smaller hole where the front side actually comes through. We'll be drilling it from the back side of the receiver through the initial hole and then to the top of the receiver. With this you see the procedure to complete the first machining center op on the upper receiver. Hope you enjoyed this video.